All right, basically gonna start assembling this thing. Uh, first piece to go on is the half rack steering system. Uh, pretty much, pretty straightforward on this. There's a little seal here that goes, which is this, goes through the hole. Um, but gotta put the steering shaft in. That hole's not big enough yet. I gotta drill that out. Next one up is a fuel tank. Gotta get this in. Hopefully it still fits. Because it's a tight, tight <laughs> quarters in here, so I guess we'll see. Just barely fits in there. Need a little persuasion, but it's in. Hopefully these bolts still line. See how it's in there. Steering shaft coming through. Still have the water hoses here. Connect up to there. Here's the pedal assembly. It's just a Willwood, uh, kind of for race cars and stuff, but it's fairly lightweight and uh, some adjustability with the clutch and stuff, so put them in. Just gonna add a little sealer on the bolt holes. They're in. Okay, so I actually had changed uh, this little control switch uh, from last time. Um, I took the white chill wiper part off and added these switches. Uh, and I basically, as you can see inside there, they're kind of tight, but it works. And I actually wired it in so you can use the same plugs, the OEM plugs. So just, uh, that one's horn, that one's just a light, and then this one is your, um, what is that? That's your, uh, propeller up and down. So basically going to install it now. And I already have the steering shaft installed. Uh, that was pretty straightforward. Basically just, yeah, connect it. There's two bolts here and there. I still gotta tighten them, but basically this, uh... On like that. So basically a lot of the process of putting uh, this thing together is I gotta clean up a lot of this old stuff. This is part of the axles. Clean it up, get it painted, get new seals and bearings in there. Um, same thing with like the swing arms and stuff. Got a couple of them painted already, but um, just taking stuff apart. Also got to do this axle. I'm gonna try to sandblast this outside, but I don't know how well that's gonna work. It's kind of rusty. A couple spots are real nasty. Gotta clean that up. All right, I got the axle cleaned up here. Um, it has to go in like this and then be assembled once it's in there. So hopefully it fits in there all right. Cool. See in there, I can put the differential in now. All right, got the differential. Get ready to go in. Hopefully it fits in here easy enough. show you how this thing goes together. Maybe a little bit of a trick.
Yeah, that is. I'm ready to put the engine in, but I was waiting for these things. Just got some little elbows for the drainage on the oil pans so I can uh, drain the oil out without uh, taking the whole, uh, you know, making a mess. But other than that, ready to put the engine in. You can see the oil lines got hooked up here. I was going to put a valve on them, but I just did a bolt and a plug. And basically so I can set them out of the drain plug there at the bottom, drain the wheel. I really wish I had done it on that uh, that guy there, because I still am yet to try to drain the wheel out of that thing. <laughs> So got the motor installed and everything. Um, I changed the tip on the exhaust pipe, put the exhaust back together on it. And the boots are bolted in. And got the suspension and drive shaft together in there. It's pretty tight, tight quarters, but it's what it is. Not too bad. And I'm going to start putting this wiring in. Hopefully it goes back together nicely. Okay, so slowly making some progress on the wiring. Um, I think I have it to the point where I could actually put a battery in it and try to start it. But firstly, I got to uh, get the fuel system finished get the lines in and uh, coolant lines from here back to the engine. Uh, you see I got the fuel lines from here plumbed over through those rails into the fuel tank. 
And now we're working on the engine cooling hoses. You've noticed in some of the other videos, I've got this handy supply of hoses and belts. I got all these for like $60 at an auction one time. Pretty cool. But uh, pick some out. This one I'm going to put on the lower side. This one for the top. This one ends up down in here. And from there I'm going to run a tube underneath of that and shoot up. And then I'm going to put a tube on that one. Just go straight over. So you can see this lower one's going to come out here and then go down underneath the upper hose. It's just going to come straight over back up to there. Pretty simple. Okay, a couple hours on the tubing benders. That's what I came up with. I got little uh, edges welded on there to keep the hoses on tighter. But uh, pretty straightforward. These go together. And it just uh, tucks in there. The other one. up underneath the transmission and like that and it comes out here and that hose goes on there pretty straightforward okay so I've been toiling away on the wiring still not done with it but uh, I got most of it in there enough uh, did the plumbing for the engine have the fuel lines and the gas line uh, stuff sorted out uh, or cooling lines I'm sorry um, and basically I'm at the point where I think I can try to start it so I got fuel and antifreeze in it and a battery and yeah let's give it a shot this will be uh, kind of fun if it actually starts the first time <laughs> probably won't but we're gonna try this is the ignition switch right now, it's just the got fuel pump, fuel pump shut off. I'm gonna cycle it a few times just to get the okay. We got some leaks. <laughs> Can you believe it? Okay, second attempt here. No leaks. Neutral. Got all this stuff in the exhaust. It all blew out when I started it. Dummy. Okay, so I got it uh, running. Now I'm going to see if I can get the wheels and the propellers to move. Try out that transfer case, make sure that stuff's all good. Uh, I don't have the brakes hooked up yet, but I do have the clutch working, so I can use the shifter.
Okay, so the battery on this I'm using is a uh, it's a dry cell. This is really just a kind of AGM battery. They're pretty small, pretty light. Um, that's good because we don't have a lot of space in here. So I just made up this little bracket. And I'm gonna make a little piece that holds the battery in and bolts to the bolts to the wall. But it's really quite tight in here. It's got some adhesive tape on there, so it's gonna stick on the ground. The only problem is that this is the battery that came out of my doom buggy, so now I don't have a battery in my doom buggy. That is a problem. <laughs> Alright, so this is the bracket that holds the battery in. Pretty simple. Pretty basic. 